Hello. Wait a minute. Let me adjust you. All right. Hello. Everybody, welcome to Stranded Sailors Wines. Wait a minute. I think I need to adjust you again. All right. Welcome to Stranded Sailors Wines. Today we're going to be transferring this beautiful batch Golden Scupper Nog. It's been sitting now for about two months. This is what it's going to look like. Golden Scupper Nog. Very tasty. One of my favorites. I've ordered bottles already. I got a clean carboy here. Everything's been sanitized with star sand. First thing we're going to do is I'm going to take two spoons. I'm going to crush up my Camden tablets. I got five Camden tablets because this is a five gallon batch. I'm going to crush them up between two spoons. The Camden tablets breaks down any yeast that may be left in, in the wine. And it will neutralize any yeast that may be left in the wine. And then after that, I'm going to add two and a half teaspoons of potassium sorbate. The potassium sorbate will enable me to back sweeten the wine. And it also prevents blowing the corks. And then basically it stops any further fermentation. All right. There's my five Camden tablets. I hope you can see real good how beautiful golden color this scuppernog is. It's one of my favorites. I'm going to use two and a half teaspoons. So we're going to go. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to set this down in my cup of star sand. Everything has been cleaned with star sand. Anything that touches the wine needs to be cleaned with star sand. I'm going to set my... Camden tablets and my potassium sorbate out of the way. I'm going to pull my airlock out and my cap. And I'm going to drop them down in the cup of star sand and I'm going to pull the actual lid off. Now I'm going to take my auto siphon and I dip the end of the auto siphon down in the star sand and get it wet. Makes it a little easier. Connect my auto siphon together. I hope everybody's had a wonderful day today. For some reason, somebody ordered cold weather. It's supposed to get cold again. They should have shot that stupid groundhog. I thought it was supposed to be springtime. Anyway. You want to put your hose as far down in the carboy as you can to limit any kind of oxygenation. Stick the hose as far down in the carboy as you possibly can get it. Pump your auto siphon a couple times. You want to stay off the bottom to, so you don't pick up any yeast. This has been sitting though, it's been over a month since it was the second rack and I don't, there's maybe a little bit of sediment in the bottom but I don't see any. This is a beautiful golden color. Now this scuppernog wine, it's good with like a, any kind of chicken or a pasta. Um, it's very, very, very good, very tasty wine. You can definitely taste the muscadines. Very sweet. It's a good summertime drink. It's good for like a pork or a chicken or something, though, if you want to have it with dinner. I 
I was very impressed with how it turned out. And if you've never had a scupper dog, um, to get a comparison, you can get a Duplin makes a scupper dog wine that you can compare to. It's basically just like what I make. And right now I'm just making wine, but sometime in the future I will hopefully be able to sell some. But you've got to have an ABC license to sell it. So uh, just like a fine wine, everything takes time. So be patient. But anyway, while we're doing this, you want to stay off the bottom so you don't pick up any yeast off the bottom. And you see the auto siphon will automatically, once it starts flowing, it'll flow. Chief, are you in the video? See, I got to be in here, Daddy. I can't touch you. I've got clean hands, buddy. Now, I know you want to be in the video, don't you? Oh, man. I'm in the video. You in the video? And I can't touch you. Now, go on. I'm in the video. You in the video, ain't you? Okay. Yeah, he's the bestest boy. Now this, uh, the scupper dog, it's got a higher alcohol by volume. The first batch was actually 14% alcohol, but this second batch is 13.5% alcohol. Um, at the second rack, and I tested it, and it was the uh, yeast that eat all the sugar down to 0 0.999 with an ABV of 1%, uh, negative 1. So I'm not going to test it on this racking. Cause I already know what it is, but uh, like I said, this second batch will be 13 and a half percent alcohol. While the first batch was 14 percent alcohol, that little half percent ain't gonna make that much of a difference. This was made out of 15 pounds of muscadines. And it is very, very tasty. If you like sweet stuff, then this right here is right up your alley. This is one of my favorites. The next one is that wild berry wine, that raspberry blackberry that I make. It's really, really tasty too. I like it. All right, now as I get down to the bottom, I'm going to tilt it so that I... I can stay off the bottom and still get all the all the clean wine out of it. You just need to remember you don't you don't want to touch the bottom, even though there's a filter on this auto siphon. You don't want to touch the yeast on the bottom so you don't pick it up. Carboy got nasty as it could be. I got a bunch of sediment on the carboy. But the wine itself's clear. That's why you use sanitizer to clean it. We will taste this. I look forward to tasting it. I've been waiting two months to taste this second batch. And I have ordered bottles. I ordered seven cases of bottles today.
still got to order labels again, and I got to order Nora Corks and false wrapping. But I mean, that's all part of it. All right, so my warped carboy, I ain't going to get all this, so I'm going to have to stop. We're going to pull it up right there. And I got a little bit left in this carboy. I'll have to get a half gallon jug and put this little bit left in there. Alright, let me take my auto siphon apart. I had to get a half gallon jug and put the rest of that in a half gallon jug. Smells good. Let me grab glass. Let's see what we're working with. All right, let me get my turkey baster here. Get a little bit of sample. Ooh, ain't that pretty. I wish y'all could smell what I'm smelling. Mmm, that smells divine. Mmm. My, my. Once again, I can almost drink that as a dry wine. But it's definitely better with some back sweetening. Here's to you. Cheers. Thank you for watching. Couldn't ask for much better. All right. Now, let me start sand my cap. This is a different cap. I'm going to rinse it off with hot water. Cap on. Fish out my bone and my airlock. Put some more juice in the airlock. And you best to put star sand or something in the airlock. I mean, you can put just plain water, but I always put star sand in there. All right. All right, I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in to Stranded Sailors Wines today. I greatly appreciate your time, and thank you for watching my videos. Until next time, this is Greg turning out. Thank you. Goodbye.